Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and I'd like to welcome you to the program. Today I'd like to apologise for voting for Candu Campbell Newman. That's right, Archie apologises for voting LNP in the state election. And uh, look, basically what's happened in the state of Queensland in Australia here, we've, uh, we've got a new Premier in, Campbell Candu. And uh, Archie voted for him because he, he, Archie just felt the uh, Anna Bly was so much on the fucking stink. And uh, it wasn't so much that I was voting for Can Do Campbell Newman. It was the fact that I wanted to put a protest vote in against Anna Bly and her, um, her fucked government. But uh, anyhow, Can Do's come in and fucked me dead. <laughs> Archie now would like to officially apologise for voting for Campbell Newman. I am sorry, and uh, I, I would like to uh, express my, my deep remorse for voting for, for Can Do. And, um, you know, this, this can be expressed, can be expressed by the, the rookie Gold Coast LNP MP, Verity Barton. And, uh, you know, I, t I tell you one thing, at least those, uh, those Labor, those Labor, um, when Labor was in power, at least they didn't make outrageous statements. And uh, one of the comments she made, it it's, sounds like you, a friend, encounter icky QR passengers often. Well, 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 Miss Barton, I've had the unfortunate incident of having to take public transport, and I 100% agree, they are icky fuckers. But at least the, uh, the Labor side didn't go off and mouth off on Facebook about it. I mean, I know they're fucking icky, but you, you don't fucking say that. You stay in your statesman or your caprice, and you just, you don't make stupid fucking comments. And uh, I don't know what to say, really. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean Archie's got a friend of his who is a, uh, a senior advisor to Tony Abbott. And, uh, I, mean, I mean, Archie was friends with this guy when Archie was on the up. Archie had the red BMW and he had money to burn and this guy was, was, was a great champagne, you know, champagne Charlie, came along for everything. But as soon as this guy becomes a senior advisor, he, Archie's never fucking heard from him since. And I mean, that's just how the LNP, the, uh, the Liberals do things. They're just mean, nasty fuckers. And uh, I, I gotta say this honestly to you, Archie's wife is a, uh, she's a, a nurse in a, a major Queensland hospital. She looks after the sick babies and, and good old can do Campbell. He's gone along and cut tea and toast for these ladies, these these registered nurses. And uh, I gotta fucking tell you, that's just a mean fucking bastard that can do is. I mean, fuck. I've gone to the ward one day to deliver some lunch f for my wife. She left it in the car, so I, 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 I was dropping it off. And as I walked in the door, this woman walks out with her deceased baby in her hands. I mean, fuck, that is a hard, hard job. It is hard. And, um, you know, sometimes you need a cup of tea or a piece of toast just to fucking get through the day because it's so hard. I mean, this is probably one of the hardest jobs in the state. And can do's cut the costs. What a bastard. That's all I can say. What an absolute fucking bastard. And uh, I, I just like to just just like to at this point in time here, I'd like to uh, reveal one of Archie Luxury's role models. And this is where Archie likes to think that he gets a bit of the class from this role model. And it's uh, our good, fearless former leader, Kevin Rudd. So I'd just like to play you this clip here, and uh, I'll leave it. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think. Uh, mate, this is just impossible. Uh, I'll get to the very end. I'll just, it's, yeah. And tell these dickheads in the embassy to just give me simple sentences. I mean, I've said this before. And tell that bloody interpreter. Ah! This fucking language. He just complicates it so much, you know? How can anyone do this? You know what I mean? It's just... Time to cancel this meeting at six o'clock. We don't have the fucking patience to do it.
this a fucking Chinese interpreter up there? word.